Hey guys, it's your best boxing friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off because we were invited, frankly, to the Golden Boy Boxing Card in Houston to see Jaime Munguia and Takesha Inoue. Anyway, I don't know how to say his name. Whatever. Listen, we're invited to the fight. Thought to the fight. We go to the fight. It's an awesome fight. And what does Rachel want to talk about on Monday? Keith Thurman. <laughs> Keith, who? I don't care about you, Keith Thurman. Here's why I don't care about you. Because you're 30 years old, and somehow you're only 30 still, and you haven't fought in almost two years. Like, what the hell were you doing, Keith Thurman? I don't know, but you weren't boxing. And then you come back, and you fight Jose to Lopez, and everybody's like, this is going to be a crappy fight, because Lopez is, you know, we know what Lopez is. Tough guy, but not, like, elite level. You struggle with him, and now you're talking about fighting Manny Pacquiao? No, I don't want to see you fight Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman. Rachel, why do you want to talk about Keith Thurman? Because he's a bigger name. Then Jaime Munguia? Yeah. But at the end of their careers, will he be? I don't know. I don't think so. I tweeted out that my hot take is that I have cooled on Keith Thurman. So what? after this weekend, I came, like I felt like I was on Twitter, and like I was, Keith Thurman has like a lot of well-wishers. Like there are a lot of people who really well, supported, um, were excited about this fight for him. Um, supported like you know him during and after the fight and how he looked and and everything and I was really I was like oh like you don't usually get this much love it's weird it's community. weird to me because I'm like why does and then it, I feel why like does Keith Thurman the get only it one and other people like, don't I'm like oh here's I like Keith Thurman as uh, so I've, I've interviewed Keith Thurman before I think Keith Thurman is good at talking and he's a great interview and he believes in himself but he also doesn't seem to want to be a great fighter in that Keith Thurman doesn't want to fight Earl Spence next. He didn't want to fight Earl Spence two years ago. He yeah. wants to fight Earl Spence in a couple years. And that reminds me too much of the type of thing that Floyd Mayweather did, except here's the thing. Floyd Mayweather's here. Keith Thurman's not near the fighter as Floyd Mayweather. So if you're already not near, you see what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. I don't like that. I'd rather a guy like Manny Pacquiao, who's when he's 40, is still trying to fight the best in the business. Uh, for me, it just, uh, so you had Keith Thurman come up, and he was this exciting fighter, right? And Keith, one-time Thurman, because, you know, like, he would knock you out and this stuff. But then um, he started getting fewer knockouts. So I think it's kind of difficult when you have a, a nickname that lends itself to knocking people out. And then after you start fighting higher-level fighters, you quit knocking people out. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But, and then after that, um, and he had this, like, really different personality, right? And I found it really intriguing. And then um, at some point, and I think it's when he fought Danny Garcia, right? When I saw two fighters who didn't want to win the fight. They just wanted not to lose it. <laughs> they, they wanted not to not to lose. lose the fight, but nobody wanted to take that risk to just go out there and win and leave right. it all in the ring. And I was really, really disappointed by that. Yeah. And then it was, like, a long layoff. And Way I don't remember, long. is he injured or... He had an injured shoulder, but I think he also may have gotten married. And he did have some stuff that could heal, but it seems like he just kind of stepped away from the sport. Um, Which is fine if that's what you want to do. You but do being that. a fan, but then that's like, why yeah, I've, I've moved on from Keith Thurman. I've moved on yeah. from you, Keith. <laughs> Look, and, and let me tell you about my new boo, Terrence Crawford. He wants to fight anybody. Or Earl Spence. He wants to fight anybody. No, I don't know why they're not fighting each other. But this isn't about them. Keith, it's about you. They call him Keith on Twitter. I see Keith. Like, he's got a little cute nickname. I'm like, why does Keith have a cute nickname? You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like sometimes boxing fans, we reject people just wholeheartedly, right? Just as a, as a group. And then you'll have a counter group of people that were like, no, we like this guy. I don't know why Keith Thurman gets a pass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is, is he the third? Is, he, is it the third wave of, like, now we love Keith Thurman? I don't know what there is so much to really support about Keith Thurman in the last couple of years. He hasn't done anything, right? He walked away from the sport. Um, he's a good fighter, but he's not, he doesn't to me seem to be elite. I don't think he beats Terrence Crawford. I, I don't think even he thinks he can beat Earl Spence. That's why I didn't fight him. Um, I could be wrong. Like, you know, I want to see him in good fights. Here's what troubles me, the biggest thing that troubles, troubles me about Keith Thurman's situation. I don't remember if it was him or his manager or whoever, somebody associated with Keith Thurman said, they want a couple more tune-up fights. And I'm like, what? Like, this was your tune-up fight, right? Right, yeah. 
you know, and we we've seen this in boxing. People come back. I I, I got the I get the tune up fight thing, but you need two more tune up fight. But whatever, you know, talking about potentially fighting Manny Pacquiao, that wouldn't be a tune up fight. I don't think that fight happens, Rachel. I don't think that fight happens because Keith Thurman can't beat Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Luke, yeah. what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think Pacquiao wins that fight, and so, you know. The Pacquiao that we just saw is too fast for Keith Thurman. If the Jose C. De Lopez is almost knocking him out in the seventh round, then you're going to have trouble with Pacquiao, I think, right? Yeah, that's what I think. And depending on what kind of fighter he still is, like if he's going to go out there and fight not to lose, then you're definitely not going to beat Pacquiao. Because Pacquiao's going to fight to win. <laughs> you can't fight not to lose when you're fighting Pacquiao. So. That being said, I've been wrong plenty of times. So watch 10 for years from now. Keith Thurman will be the greatest watch way ever. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. He'll be like, he'll be like, oh man, Keith Thurman, he's 65 and 0. You know, he fought everybody. He beat everybody. Yeah. Just a great champion. So hopefully, I don't know if you're a Keith Thurman fan. Hopefully that's the case for you because I got really nothing against the guy. I'm just saying, I got more against people who don't have anything against him. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? We don't have, we're not against. You liking, comment, and subscribing. You liking, comment, and subscribing. By you doing that, you automatically tell Keith Thurman that you're with us and against him. <laughs> I mean, we're not against Keith Thurman. We're, or we're, you like, comment, and subscribe, and you tell Keith Thurman that you love him. Yeah, we want Keith Thurman to be the best Keith Thurman possible. And honestly, I think both Kelsey, Rachel, and Keith know, or Keith knows, that it only happens when you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>